Hello there. Today, uh, let's talk about the hydroponic systems that I have tried. We are not going to talk about those uh, very expensive setups. Uh, we are just concentrating on basically apartment farming. I live in an apartment, so what I've tried is just three systems. The Cracky, the deep water culture, and an NFT setup, simple NFT. Uh, we're gonna talk about their pros and cons, and maybe this video will help you select what system you want to adapt, uh, depending on your uh, available space in your home. So first, we talk about the cracky setup this is the most simple hydroponic setup you just need a container and something to hold your plants like what i use a net pot and a foam combo uh, that's what i use in this uh, kale cracky setup and what uh, advantage of cracky is of course it is the most simple easy to set up but in honest, honestly, it's not newbie friendly. Uh, thing is, when you're new to this, most of the time you don't know how much water you need to put in your setup. And most new people, including me back then, tend to drown their seedlings because we put too much water. Roots are submerged in water, they cannot breathe they die that's the problem with cracky if you don't know proper levels of water for your plant your plant will die and a uh, problem again with cracky there is no water circulation your water is stagnant so if uh, if you're if you have heavy nutrients in your water they tend to go uh, down at the bottom of the mixture and if your seedlings is still young and doesn't have long roots your plants cannot absorb those nutrients uh, another thing is uh, when you're living here in the Philippines a hot tropical country uh, your cracky setup tends to get hot when your water is hot plants die so if you forgot to put the insulation you're probably gonna have problems with your cracky setup well in here in the philippines in any setup it, if you do not put your insulation you're gonna have problems it's hot here so next uh this is my favorite it is the deep water culture setup uh, this uh, uh this, uh, in addition to the, this is like a cracky setup, but you put an uh, air pump on it, so you oxygenize the water. This is very helpful in uh, cooling down your water. And uh, since your water is oxygenated, this serves as a lifeline for your plants. If you are new, I, I guess I say again, you tend to put so much water that your seedlings tend to be submerged in the water. Uh, deep water culture will prevent your seedlings from drowning because water is oxygenated. This is the most newbie friendly setup. It is foolproof setup your seedlings will not die from overwatering because of the oxygenation and it also mixes the water so all of your nutrient solution if there are heavy particles there they can still circulate in the reservoir and your plants can absorb them properly honestly this is my favorite one it has never failed me I have several failures with cracky setup, but deep culture, deep water culture, never failed me. Honestly, if you're new, 
you go for deep water culture. Next, uh, this is my NFT setup. It's the most complicated one that I've done. The most complicated one that I've made. Uh, disadvantage, I mean advantage. Small space, lots of plants. See? Three layers of uh, three rows, two lay, two, I mean, three, three, three rows with uh, 18 plants in each row. Uh, it's very cost effective. That's the advantage of NFT. And since it's operating in a reser uh, separate reservoir, if you're going to cool uh, your solution because it's I say again it's hot here in the Philippines you can just put an a frozen uh, frozen water bottle there and it will cool the entire system because it is flowing that's the advantage of that and the disadvantages of NFT one leak you're done <laughs> I have encountered so because because NFT has so many parts you are prone to leaking you have to check it and make sure that every part is tightly fitted so you won't have leaks another problem with this is it's very hard to clean it takes so much time to clean the setup and what else? Costly. NFT, with comparison to the other two setups, costs a lot. PVC, pipes, uh, lots of uh, lots of insulation. And every time that I, I clean it, I have to buy uh, Teflon for sealing the pipes. So, Constant costs for NFT with comparison to the other two. After uh, the other two setups is just you make the setup and that's the that's it. You don't have to uh, buy anything to every uh, buy anything like Teflon after every harvest and reset up. So. That's the disadvantage of the NFT. Well, it is up to you guys to weigh the pros and cons and what's more applicable to your home. Uh, every, every one of these can be set up indoors if you have grow lights. And they can be set up outdoors but make sure you have a UV sheet to cover them from the rain because you don't want rain to dilute your nutrient solution. So, that's it for this comparison video. Uh, I hope it helps in weighing down the pros and cons when you're choosing your setup. We do not go to the complicated uh, hydroponics grow towers and misting systems, aeroponics, uh, ebb and flow systems. We don't go to those because they are costly in comparison to the other three and another thing uh, that's why I went to the NFT setup with comparison to the ebb and flow and uh, grow towers because NFT basically has a fail safe uh, we are living in an area where uh, sometimes there are power outages uh, since NFT is dependent on the uh, water pump to circulate the water if the water pump dies because we don't have electricity at least uh, we still have water stored in the pipes try that with a grow tower or an ebb and flow setup when the pump dies no water plant dies <laughs> well uh just make sure that you're choosing a setup that has a fail safe if you are living in an area with a, without a constant power supply uh, to to get over this problem maybe you want to add a solar 
power supply to your setup that would make it a standalone that would be nice and that's one of my goals so again uh, thank you for watching the video if it helps you please do subscribe thank you very much happy planting